In this energy forecast for 2021, I'm going to share with you the top three things that will help you recalibrate your vibration throughout this year. So stay tuned. Hello, fellow flames. In case we haven't met, my name is Dr. Harmony, and I will help you live fearless, free, loved, and alive. If you like today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the upcoming energies for 2021, make sure to leave a comment in the link below. Otherwise, if you are new to my channel or coming back, welcome. And if you'd like to learn more transformational tips, self-love tools, and empowering techniques, then I invite you to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every week as my videos come live. So before we get started on the top three things that you can expect for 2021 in this energy coming forth into the new earth, the new world, and the new way in the new you, Let's take a look at the energy overall and kind of review it from a spectrum of past, present, future. Basically, we have been demolishing democracy, the history, but at the same time we're demolishing the history, we're actually recreating history at the same time in a new, creating new history. And so we're changing that history in the process. So we kind of have in this energy at where we're at right now is the pivotal point, the apex of the universal shift in consciousness that the past, present, and future is all happening at the same time. And it's happening not only on a, like say a universal scale, and then we're seeing that coming inward through like all the democracy and coming into the governmental systems, the educational systems, and all the blueprints that go throughout the entire society and the collective energy. But that's also then coming through to the ancestral lineage that we've been clearing, our twin flame journey with our twin flame, and then our personal karma that we've been all of this releasing and demolishing what's not working, trying to put together these pieces from a standpoint of the duality and the contrast to both sides. So we're, we're pulling in all the fragments that have been lost in this process of the collective energy having went through such trauma and destruction and hidden truths and these parts that inside of our own selves that have not been awakened for a long time and some of them maybe ever so we are going through all of this the whole point of all of this down to the twin flame journey is is that we're waking up in a consciousness both internally in our own personal state and then that collective consciousness in order to create more universal consciousness that as we go forward into the future then we're bringing in that age of Aquarius energy and we're bringing in the new tools, the techniques, the tips that is all like an upgraded version of anything we have saw to date. And so it's going to be super important as we kind of go through this portal of this year and like this whole year is going to be basically a portal and I'm seeing it like a portal into like the, that show like back to the future it's like a time machine that is going to do one of two things it's going to take us back into timelines if you still have karma to purge and things that you need to clear or you're going to go through this portal and it's going to take you into the future which is partly what we've been doing a lot um, I should say over the last three to five years that we've been going up in ascension we've been going up into that future up into the higher selves up into the higher state of energy and we've been becoming activated and our twin flame activated us in a, such a way to turn on switches inside our operating system to unlock these hidden truths and these things that we are to embody anchor and decode as we then upgrade and recalibrate our vibration and our frequency down to the code within our body we've been embodying this now so we've been clearing out and purging 
we've been embodying and now like going forward into say the, the 2021 and going through this future portal, we are now it's all about implementation. And so when I've said many times that there's nothing left to do, what I mean by that, what's coming through to make that very clear is on the collective scale of energy, it's like a bridge, it's like a bandwidth, and it's it's an extension of basically a lot of negative at the same token that's expanding the opposite. So as negative as it's been, that's having to happen just like in our twin flame journey to go in and do the shadow work in that so the collective consciousness can be at the greatest light it's ever been so that then collectively as we move forward we're bringing balance now which is that ground zero point i talked about at the 1221 portal that we're at ground zero and what that means is that that, that tower moment you have that explosion that crumbling of the tower right and so collectively that tower has crumbled even though people are still cleaning up, still purging, still clearing karma, because the collective energy has raised its frequency and its vibration to the highest it's ever been, that's raised the earth plane vibration and frequency, which the Schumann's resonance over this last year has been peaking out at the highest pivotal point it has in the history of time, which basically it confirms the truth and the idea of creating a new earth even from a biblical standpoint and i don't mean religion when i say that but the earth has went up in its frequency and nothing in this frequency of the earth plane and the physical plane can now live that's of lower frequency so we are now shifted into the higher timeline the higher frequencies collectively but in that it it's hit this high highest point so between the highest point and the the most negative point and the greatest highest frequency point those then are basically creating this neutral point if you put them together which is this ground zero starting point that says we have new ground we have a new foundation and now we're going to build everything from here up and it's going to be built going up on more stability, more strength, more love, more of the higher frequency types of patterns and consciousness that we have just downloaded, embodied, activated, recoded, and bringing into form. So the first thing that you can really expect this year is a lot of downloads. Now, it's not like we haven't experienced downloads before, but there is a difference. The past downloads were coming in to help awaken, to help like bring in such an energy that was opening the portal in order for us to basically be activated in order to awaken to some of these things that are encoded within us. But now what has happened in this new timeline, in this new portal, these downloads are coming in that are doing basically upgrades, which I'll talk more about in a minute, but those upgrades is the second part of this and what, the, what that's going to do. Um, but the, the downloads that are coming in are coming in to, to basically assist you with an increase in your frequency that will help you jump frequency jump timelines and raise and rise above faster it's going to propel you it's like a quantum leap in you know so this is going to be that if you use this energy to your benefit right now it's going to be the fuel for rocket for a rocket explosion and i am telling you i am feeling this it's like somebody turned on a switch inside of me since December 21st started. But since I did that really big clearing of clearing out the energy to make room for love for 2021 in that series that I did, which by the way, I'll put a link up here, a card, and also in the link below to get plugged into that playlist because you won't want to miss some of the tools and tips in that that you know I share on my journey as I was doing that and everybody gave such great feedback on that I think you'll find it very beneficial so check that out however at this point 
basically what this really means in these downloads, it means that it's waking up parts of you that are allowing you to basically put all the pieces together and see from a place that you've never saw before with the clarity that you ha are now. And so basically what that's doing is it's helping set you up to be supported by the universe and that the, the frequency of the downloads are at the highest frequency that they've ever been. And so the universe is doing this in order to help you have the fuel that you need to implement everything that you need to implement from all the things that you've opened up. Like say you've awakened to this box and I call it the Pandora's box because once you awaken to this and once you open this Pandora's box, you don't turn it off. So it's gonna help you like have the fuel that like say you open the box and you have now all these pieces and all these parts and it's a puzzle and you may not fully have the full picture of what those pieces are going to create in the puzzle because you're basically putting this together without the picture on the box. You're to trust the process. But the universe is going to support you with all the fuel that you need to put these pieces together so that it will come into a bigger picture than what you could have seen from a human standpoint. Because from a human standpoint, you have limitations on your ability to see at the highest frequency, the highest vibration. And we came into this earth plane as a spiritual being in order to experience the human experience. And so we have these limitations on our abilities to be able to see the things that we're actually doing. So that's forcing us to basically trust this process and to know there's something bigger going on here and to know that your human self has set you up in such an experience from the higher self that won't let you operate at anything less than your greatest potential going forward. So if you even try to step out of alignment with what's not supporting your highest good at this point, everything will crumble and be shut down without you even having to try. So that does show that there is some destiny in this towards what is of your highest good. And the sooner you can let go and surrender, the sooner you're gonna align with that. But because we are human, that means we did choose certain lessons that our soul needs to evolve to go through this process. So these downloads are coming in to put this on a fast track if as if it wasn't already fast enough to speed this process up that over this year really is like a trash compactor that's just squishing everything out. And if you've been in this journey for like a long time then and you've cleaned out the trash and you've created space and you've opened it up, then these new downloads are coming in with that high frequency for you to have the fuel to start creating, which is number three that I'll talk about a little bit more here in a minute, to implement, execute, and create what it is that's inside of that truth that you came here to bring into motion. So the second thing to expect that I mentioned is upgrades. So if we're getting all these downloads, then you can expect that that is going to automatically increase your frequency, not allowing any karma to experience, um, be experienced within you, like going forward, meaning you're going to be purging that out if it is there, and it will be kind of in that trash compactor forcing you to do so. But that also says you're going to be asked to step it up a few notches quickly in that quantum leap. So yesterday I got this piece of mail and it said on there, now is the time to upgrade, increase your performance and efficiency with clean energy. Well, that's what we're doing. We're cleaning out our energy and our vibration to raise it up. And so there's things that you can do to support that vibration. You can make sure that your thoughts, feelings, emotions are in alignment with that vibration. And really consciously when some of those older frequency, older patterns, older habits creep in and they will, tipping that scale can be done through that awakening of seeing it come through and then making your execution 
come through in a way that you implement that new new thought, feeling, emotion, or behavior. And so as you are doing this going forward, you're basically um, being asked to, as I said, step it up a few notches, but it's also then what's kind of happening on that collective scale of that past, present, future. It's, I've said before, the past is present, the future is now. Well, everything's collapsing into this now, which is how we're basically jumping those timelines. But on this universal scale, as well as on an individual personal scale, we're completing these cosmic cycles that we've been going through. And that means that our past and our present have come into that, where I said that tower moment of the crumbling and the dissolving as we're rebuilding. And so because those two things are at this neutrality point, what that means is, is we will be revisiting things that we've revisited, just like in our democracy right now, everything that we're going through is going back to the independence of, you know, 1776 and the Declaration of Independence. And now we, it was built in a way that was of that masculine version of the old paradigm. So that's crumbling now to recreate and make a new history and a new template for our democracy going forward. That's on a that social and collective scale, but internally, let's say with our twin flame, twin flames are coming back to where say you gave your power away, even say in the democracies, that's some, some process of this too. If anything you visited that you gave away your power, it doesn't matter if you came into power now or not, you will revisit that experience and it will repeat itself to give you an opportunity to reclaim the power and to take back the, the, the parts I was saying that you're recollecting within yourself in a new, the new way. And the reason this is happening is because it's giving you not only a chance to come into the power of that, but that's what frees you of that binding contract of everything in the old to recreate from the new. So if you've been being, you know, really connected, say, with your twin flame and your twin flame is revisiting and they're basically helping you with this upgrade. So when your twin flame comes into your life anyway, they came into your life to activate you, to create this purge, to let go of what's not serving you any longer so you can upgrade who you are and who you're becoming and connect to more that is in this ascension process. So if there's been, say, a lot of silence or they've been either physically or in your signs, your synchronicities and the signals and the connections and the telepathy and the dream state that that could be reoccurring because you're creating a new cycle, a new connection to create an end the old way and create something new from it from a state of your power going forward. And this is going to help you close that chapter basically of the twin flame journey and everybody would be at a different state in this and a different bandwidth in this. But the sooner you can bring closure to the painful side of that and find the gift in it, regardless of the outcome, then it's going to help shift you forward faster in that quantum leap. Otherwise, you're pulling out of alignment with it. And we're in that apex and meaning that like if you're you're not in alignment with what I'm saying then this is going to be the year of of either like being really putting you in the ringer to get this out if you're on the fence with it but if you've already came past that it is the year of self-love it is the year to come into a place of allowing yourself to implement the new patterns of think doing things that is going to make you feel happy make you feel good and to put more energy into those things that are going to bring you peace, power, and purpose. So that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, 
if you get out of alignment with either side of that, your higher self is not going to allow you to play small. It's going to be time for you to step into the power that the soul came here to experience and be so that you can become the destined person that you came here to be. So if your twin flame is still triggering your traumas, that's going to be very important. You use this energy portal in order for you to identify and heal your core wounds. So in order to do that, I really highly recommend you get plugged in to my mirrored reflection exercise. The link in the description is below. So make sure you check that out because that can help you be able to see your own reflection through your twin flame and to realize what it is that they're triggering that is helping you heal and activate so that you're able to go ahead and upgrade your energy as you purge that past and you let go of the pain and you then move forward as we move forward throughout this year and that's going to help benefit you over the next four to five years where you need to be free of this lower vibration so that brings us to the third major thing that you can expect this year and that is execution that means that basically everything inside of you that you have downloaded and that you have awakened to and that you are connecting to and that you are embodying and that you have recoded to, it's wanting to be birthed. And so really this year and what I'm saying is, is about the birth of the new and that as we work collectively, that starts inside of ourselves. And so we're going to be recreating, but that calls for creation and implementation of the new templates, the new programs. And when I say that, I'm referring to those within your own thoughts, feelings, or actions, and connecting to more passion and fulfillment within. And purpose and a lot of this is with purpose so so let's say on one hand you know to implement this the way you can you know basically transmute that collective energy would be to focus on self-love because love heals all and if we want this world to heal on the shadow side the best thing we could do is be in the love for ourselves and that love for ourselves will heal the world and not only that, you know, love is not about a destination to arrive to the twin flame. It's more about our journey of how we go about the process of loving our daily life. Loving ourselves is basically standing up, showing up, speaking up for our truth, setting boundaries, knowing when to be open to receive. Basically, this is sort of like we've been playing the all the parts and the pieces of the symphony. And now it's about the orchestra putting it all the parts together and everything's moving together and at the same time and bringing then the balance and the harmony within that so it can synergetically flow. But, you know, as we do this from a personal level and we, we basically start to allow ourselves to do be and have some of the things that we've never done and to do it not from playing small but doing it to the next level and the next version of who we are you know in that series of the making room for love in 2021 and that's where i share my journey about making space and connecting to more of everything that i love going forward and with that switch turning on it's just happening and i'm and so many people i'm talking about is they're like getting rid of things and um, upgrading things, even whenever I show that video on being able to clear the, the negative energy from your bed, which make sure to check that below. I mentioned it a while ago that, that basically, you know, a we spend a third of our life in the bed. So make sure to allow ourselves to have comfort in that bed, to have royalty in that bed, to have an experience with that that allows us to have the things that we desire and deserve without putting ourselves last, basically. It's really putting ourselves first. Just like I have been saying that, you know, my father had been ill and even had surgery, but I felt called to be home to do what I needed to do. And without guilt, I had to, I left to come home to take care of me. That is self-love. And that's also teaching everything and everyone around me to do the same. So it's our actions 
and our reflection to others that is how they learn how to basically not only interact with us in these new ways, but then that's how they also then learn their own lessons and that's how we can share. So people are always saying, well, I wanna tell my twin flame or I want them to get what I am getting the way I get it and I wanna share with them and I basically want to preach to them. The best way that you can help them is you be the basically reflection of what you want, the change you wanna see in the world and the change will come. So it's the same thing you do, you be, and you make all your actions be what you want in other people. And then everything within them will come into that. Now that takes a lot of trust and a lot of letting go. But anyway, as we move forward in that, not only are we then creating, say, that connection to ourselves and the self-love, we are then really also being asked to implement on a larger scale the purpose, the mission. You know, I have so many clients that I've been working with that have been on this fence of their missions and their brands and different things that they've been doing and holding back and not knowing where to start. And... I had the, I was hearing the words the other day that it's basically like where you start is just here. Like what is in front of you? And the more present and the more conscious you can stay with taking everything one step at a time and enjoying the process, the more everything's going to fall into place because you're not going to be constricting and causing everything to repel in that energy. You're going to be magnetizing everything towards you which is what you want. So really, if you, now that so the whole world's waking up in a bigger, brighter, bolder way, we need more light workers out there. So a lot of people that have been having that feeling and that desire to step it up a notch and to go out there and implement their program or their coaching or different strategies or just showing up more on social media to share from an authentic place that they've hidden those parts of who they are, hidden the twin flame journey. People are coming out of the out now and, and we were already doing it, but it's collectively now coming in a bigger way. If that's you and you've got some big things and being called to come out of that box and share more, be more, show up more and to step into your purpose more, let me know. I want to hear about it. So if you are on the other side of that fence and you have been wanting to connect more to your purpose and, and to not sure where to start, I would highly recommend my free download, my free online class here of 30 Days to Unlock Your Passion Project. And you'll see the link below here. So get plugged into that if you've not already started. It's very, very powerful. So as always, I practice what I preach, and that means that I'm stepping it up a notch in a lot of ways in my life, and one being how I show up here on my videos and, and um, here on YouTube. And so that means that I am upgrading a lot of how I deliver things, a lot of the information that I'm sharing and how I'm sharing it. And so you will see some changes in the way I'm doing that. And it's all being built around how I'm guided to show up bigger, bolder, brighter in new and different ways and being called. So I invite you to do the same. Please make sure to like, comment, share the shine. Let me know how this energy is impacting you below. And I'll see you in the next video. May you always face your fears, find freedom, and glow forward on fire. Namaste.